on your knees! Leg muscles. The unicorn. The tibia. Anyone who reports the whereabouts of our Fong Siu, I promise him I shall make him a nice present of my best coffin. Well, child, don't bother. No one would turn him in. <laughs> well, if any traitor should turn him in, simply to get that reward, then he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! 
Hey, useless. Not like me at all. Hey, how dare you? Just who are you? Hmm? Don't you recognize me? I am. What do you think? <laughs> Punk, see you? We're taking your head. Huh. Well, now. Help yourself. Come and get it. Come on. Take it. Get him! <laughs> 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 And if Ma wants me, he should cut himself. Your Lordship, Lei Pao has discovered a Japanese guy, the twin brother of Tiger Lee. He's the one that was killed by Fang Si Yu. He studied Chinese Kung Fu for 20 years, and now he's a real expert. He says he wants a duel with Fang Si Yu on the Shaolin Poles. A duel? Yeah. Well, that's a very personal matter. We wouldn't want to interfere with that. But, sir, he wants paying, though, and a lot, too. He wants 5,000 tails as a minimum. What's that? How much? He's crazy. I'll do it myself. Huh? Tell him it's 2,000. If he says no, then have him killed. What's wrong? Uh, you all right? Uh, I was so thirsty. I wanted a treat. But I slipped down and hurt my leg. Oh, it's so kind. Oh, well, all right. Oh. Where'd you live? I'll take oh. you home. Oh. I'll give you a massage and some herbs. Oh. Those will help, I'm sure. Oh, that's very good. Thanks a lot. My home's in Lee Village. Huh. I'm going there. Oh, oh yes. to see my two Kung Fu brothers. Oh. What are their names? I, I think I know everybody in that village. There's Lin Chin Fa and Tung Kin. Oh, 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 those two young men. Uh, they're very popular in the village. <laughs> Not long ago, uh, some bandits came along and those two drove them away. <laughs> I did hear that they were going to fight that cruel official, Commander Ma. Oh, they gone yet? Oh, I am afraid I couldn't say. Uh, oh, by the way, you say you're their brother. Maybe I know you then. I mean, after all, sir, you're probably a very well-known boxer, I should imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Oh. You flatter me. Oh, oh, oh. I'm no one. Oh. Uh, name's Fung Si Yu. Oh, 
Oh, fancy you. A well-known hero. Did you know that Commander Mars offered a big reward for you? Oh? I'm not worth it. You're right. You're not worth too much. <laughs> Old woman. What's the matter? You crazy? Uh, <laughs> oh, I, uh, oh, yes. Uh, oh, oh. Uh. <coughs> hey. <laughs> Watch it. You're gonna ruin my clothes bag. Careful. <coughs> you went after my clothes bag. You were after me. <coughs> Not too good. <coughs> no. You're a man. <coughs> a good disguise. <coughs> Teach me that, all right? Yes. <laughs> Who's your boss? <laughs> you fool. Stupid. <laughs> Chin Fa? Talk in! Excuse me. Where's Lin Chin Fa and Tong Kin? see you and look after him bring him home safe and sound if he marries me 
I'll always pray to you. Oh, no! I'll save up all my clothes money. I swear I will. And then I'll buy you a gold statue. Choice of ye. Good. <laughs> Be scared? It's only me. When did you get back? Just now. Then I heard you praying there. Did I scare you? What I was saying then? Did you hear? Huh? Of course. Oh, both of you! You sneak! How could you? Hey, one thing I didn't hear. What's that? Hey, if you can't guess, never mind then. Right. I can't. Forget it. All right? Hey, listen. How's your ma? All right. I prefer to stay at home. Didn't want to come with me. Don't blame her. Live in this old place? Who wants that? Hey, listen. Do you know where Brother Lin and Brother Tung are? They were killed by Commander Ma. Huh? They tried to assassinate him. They were caught. He tortured them and killed them. And now he's offered a big reward for your head. So I heard. Something else. Hmm? What else? There's some man posing as you. And what's more, when Lin and Tung were beheaded, he took their heads. Are you sure? Where is he now? He went into town, to that Li Chin Hall. Li Chin Hall? Hey, that's a whorehouse. You been there? Of course not. That bastard. Posing as me. Well, I'm gonna find him. Wait here. Hey! Hey! I'll go with you. <laughs> You're a girl. How could you go there? Oh, men only, eh? That right? your Kung Fu. Fans no good. <laughs> mm. 
Your eagle's claw kung fu is slow. <laughs> Poor technique. Your eagle claw, it's no good. <laughs> Your tiger crane style, it's weak. I'll teach you. Now the tiger turns. You forgot that. And now the white crane flaps its wings. Stabs a fish. Your pigtail doesn't work. Now, where have you hidden my friend's bodies? Just tell me. Tell me. Talk. Just tell me where you've hidden my two friends' bodies. Dragon Lee's girl you're looking at. Don't you ever go near her. This way. <laughs> Dragon Lee, why didn't you grab him? Yeah, for 2,000 tails, there's no hurry. Where did you hide those two bodies? Now tell me. Mm. <laughs> I'm real sorry for what happened. My name's Fong, Fong Ting. Because you're popular and well known, I guess I am with you. And so I thought that I'd use your name just for a while. Could you please forgive me? That depends on if you tell me where those bodies are. You take his name, make trouble for him. He should forgive you. Now, come on. I said I'm sorry. Uh, right. We're here. It's me. Oh, it's you. Come in. Come in. Go on. They know you, not me. So, you go first. Half on see you. You did a good job. Those damn soldiers threw the bodies on the hill, just like garbage. So I brought them back here. And so now they're back with their heads on that you brought. Sewed them on. Our embalmers worked on them. And he's a real expert, Mr. Chu. They look all right now. Feng Yu? Who is he? Well, he's the real Feng Yu. I'm an imposter. Huh? What? Brother Lin. Brother Tung. I was too late. It's my fault you died. But I promise you, I shall avenge you. Tung Zi Yu. What's this? Fang Ting. You risked your life just to help recover their two bodies so they can rest in peace. 
That was a brave thing to do, and I must salute you. Huh? Feng Si, you, you don't despise me for using your name? You even honor me. I don't deserve that. You meant no harm. I know that. Can we be friends? I'd like that. Sure we can. Listen, I'll follow you forever. Fancy you? What's the matter? No call for this. Fancy you bowing to people. I think maybe he's just gone crazy. Thank you, my friends, for all risking your lives in getting the bodies of my friends. I'm so grateful to you. I owe you a lot. Hey, hey, hey! Now get up, Fancy you. Now listen. You've always been risking your life to help the people. You are worth nothing, but we owe you, and so that's why we bow to you. <laughs> Look at them all bowing. I think I'll be the priest. All right. Now that's enough. Mm. Ajo, Ajo, it's late. Let's go home. Uh, uh, Uncle, not yet. Hey, wait a while. Macho, you going? Mm. <laughs> Feng Si Yu, you're great. You're really terrific. Feng Si Yu, you got to teach me proper kung fu. <laughs> <laughs> Those kids. <laughs> Who is that man? Oh. That's my two. Well, three years ago, he came here with those kids. He earns his living selling fish. Don't know anything about his background. Sometimes he comes in here for tea, but he never talks much. They say he was a boxer. And a Shaolin, but nobody really knows, though. <sighs> a real strange man. I see. Sao Yi. Let's go, then. Right. Now, wait. Where'd you live? I'll come with you. I live in the old temple. <laughs> After Lin Chun Hall, I'm sure you won't like it much. You're wrong. I don't mind. <laughs> huh. I'll go get my things. I'll see you. Hold it. Now, that Japanese fella, who is he? And the girl, too. Who's she? She's Sang Chin. Why do you ask? I've never seen such beautiful eyes. <laughs> Dragon Lee, I interrupt. I'm sorry. My lord, something urgent? Is there? Who is she? She's Sang Chin. You see, from the money you advanced, I paid the Mama San a hundred tails for half a body. When Fang Si Yu's dead and you give me the rest of my money, then I'll buy the other half of her. My lord, what do you think? <laughs> My lord? Too much. How much is your worth? How much? Nothing. Just take it. <laughs> My lord, what is it? Hong Teng, Li Po, and Dragon Li. Now then, you work out your plan carefully. Here's your chance to show your skill and to take revenge for your brother at the same time. Hmm. Well, my lord, I will. I'll do the job. Hi there. This is where I live. No girls, no wine. And better watch your step or you trip over. Hmm. All right? Sure. Hey, did you find out, did you? About the Jap and the lady? Of course. His name's Dragon Lee. And a man called Lee Pao hired him to fight you. Lee Pao? You remember killing a Tiger Lee? <laughs> of course. But why? Dragon Lee's brother. Commander Ma, he's done this. 
That's right. That tiger, Lee, he used to work for Ma. Well, I don't know. And the girl? Dragon Lee's girl. He bought her from that whorehouse. He paid them a hundred tails. How could she? Sleeping with a Jap. Well, what's she supposed to do? She doesn't have any choice. Whoever pays the money gets the girl. Hmm, pity. What? That's why she's scared. Scared of what? Scared of being abused. thousand poles have been erected here now. Do you think that he'll dare come? He has a great sense of pride. No matter what, he'll come to take up the challenge. If not, then there's other ways to bring him. <laughs> what ways, my lord? I've discovered Fong Ting is quite close with Fong Si Yu. And then there's your girl. Fong Si Yu is quite keen on her. My lord. That's all right. I thought you meant the poles. They're all taken care of. Oh? They look all right to me. I'm going to be painting those poles with Foncy used blood. <laughs> Make sure it's not yours. Huh? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you. Now, my name is Dragon Lee. I'm a Japanese boxer. And this? is my woman, Miss Sang Chin. I hear this Fong Si Yu is very popular. They tell me he's a hero, supposed to be the local savior. Everyone likes him, including my woman. So I've been wondering just what makes him so great, especially when he insults me. And that's why I'm here today, for a duel, for satisfaction. I've challenged Fong Si Yu to fight me. Now we have a thousand poles, right here. And that's where we'll fight. If he beats me, I promise that then I'll admit the Chinese are better. But if I should beat him, then you must all apologize for killing my brother. So then, you tell Fong Si Yu that he should come here. I shall wait three days, and if he doesn't come, then you'll know he's a coward, and what's more, guilty of the crimes of which he's been accused. And now, here's your commander, my lord. Good people, as this involves national pride, I should be more than willing to pardon Fong Si Yu for all his crimes here. If he comes forward to have a duel with this Japanese, and if he does win, then he'll go free. But I promise. Did you hear that? Did you? Well, you tell him about this offer, and tell him to come here. And then I can show this silly girl that he isn't such a great hero. <laughs> <laughs> now, come on. Does he really mean so much? You try to save him? 
Hai Yang. Yes. Tell Fang Si. Right. Fang Si Yu! Fang Si Yu! What's wrong? Listen, where's Fang Si Yu? He went to buy some food. Now what's wrong? That chap has challenged him. And wants to fight him, too. On the Thousand Poles. And he salted his name, too. Huh? And Commander Ma? He's there as well. And that goddamn Japanese is kicking his woman. Huh? You go and find him. I'll go and meet that chap. I'll show him. Wait! must we wait? As soon as he hears, Fong Ting will come. He has to, to protect Fong Zi Yu. Oh? You sure? Of course. Fong Ting is his very good friend now. He risked his life to get those heads back. Fong Zi Yu is grateful to him. Hey, Fong Ting's here. <laughs> My lord, he's quite a good fighter. Just kill him. Fong Zi Yu is bound to come then. <laughs> Don't worry. It isn't your dear friend. But I reckon he'll be along very soon too. All right. Well, are you coming up or not? Stop wasting my time, will you? Hey, 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 hey. What's wrong? What is it then? Listen to me! Long see you as our savior! You can't beat him! You just know much! <laughs> Cut the talking. I want to get this over. Ting. Commander Ma made your friend a good offer. Of course. Then your friend will come. He'll come. You sure?
Monty. You're a nuisance. Commander Ma won't give me any extra pay just for killing you. <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> Game, huh? Now show us what you can do. Well, come on. Show the commander just how good you are. And the people. Let them see just how good the hero is. And my girl, too. Show her what you're like. <laughs> well, Dragon Lee, my life may not be worth too much. <laughs> but I'll bet it for her life. The life of that poor girl there. All right? <laughs> Right. Come on. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
Hong Cheng. If there's no body, then there's no pay. See my ma and tell her to bring the herbs. Go on. Uh, uh, don't you worry. Uh, I'll tell her. Uh, Dad, open up. Hurry. Where have you been? I've been waiting. Oh, my God. Hey, hey, what's this? Hey, what's this? Sao Yi, what's this? What happened? You know him, it's Fung Si Yu. I know that. I know it's Fung Si Yu. I've told you often to have nothing to do with that man. Now you bring him here. My house. My God. He's hurt. Who's he been fighting with? Tell me. Men Yi Long. Men Yi Long? If the commander beat him up, that's bad. But how come he let him go? He did offer a thousand tails reward. A thousand tails? Now, just think of what that could buy. All that good food. Zhao Yi! Why on earth did you bring him back here? Ma's men must be hunting for him! Dad, it's all right, as long as you keep quiet. No one knows he's here. Soon as he's well, then he'll go. Please say nothing. You better go out and buy yourself a meal. Buy myself a meal? So I should spend my money for his sake? You're my daughter, but he's more important. How dare you treat me like this? My God! Mm. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'll long see you. One thousand tails reward. Oh, my God! <laughs> 
Anyone in hopes. Must fetch his mother. Look, don't you worry. I'll watch him. No, thanks. It's not safe. I'm scared. My dad. Oh. Right. We'll take him into that cellar. Hey, 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 hey. Take his feet. Nobody knows that place. He should be safe there. Now, while I'm away, you look after him. And I'm relying on you. Oh. You say Fong Si Yu is hiding in your house? Uh, yes, my lord. Who brought him there? Uh, uh, it... It was, uh, it, uh... Who was it then? Uh, uh, uh forgive me. Uh, forgive me. It, it was my daughter. It was my daughter. And who else? Uh, uh, my lord. Was it another woman? Uh, uh yes. Yes, yes. Uh, I, I don't know her. I don't know her. Well, my friend, your woman? Uh, uh, uh my lord, as you know, I, I came to get the reward on Fong Si Yu. So then, do I get it? Uh, my lord, spare my daughter, please. She's just stupid. N nothing more, huh? When I capture Fong Si Yu, then you'll get your reward. Uh, yes. Yes, my lord, yes. Your daughter's? Uh, 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 well, is uh, it? Uh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, they definitely were here before. I swear to you. M my lord, I swear on my life they were. Uh, my lord, Fong Si Yu was wounded and badly. He couldn't have got very far like that. My lord, I swear I didn't lie. They're gone. Not your fault. Oh, thank you, sir. Lord, where are they? Uh, 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 I don't know. Come on, there's a big reward for this. 
I swear I know nothing. All right. Leave him. If he does know, he may recall. If he has the chance. If he doesn't know, no use to kill him. If you did, who else would dare inform for us? And his daughter is bound to come back home. The money's waiting. Any time you got some news. <laughs> All right. See my boy. Do it now. Mr. Chai, I have another request. Please, tell nobody of this. Otherwise, his body, they'll take it from me. Don't you worry. I won't. I wonder what's happening with Feng Si Yu now. I don't know, but it's strange. There's no news. Well, I just hope that he isn't needing our help. What do you mean? You've forgotten what we sell here. Mr. Chow, I... I need a coffin. What's that? For whom? Who's dead? It's Feng Si Yu. Feng Si Yu's dead. Oh. My God. He really is dead. Sure he is. Those Shaolin herbs are working. <laughs> oh, my son, don't leave me. You can't leave me here alone like this. Please, I go. You mustn't cry like that. You make yourself ill. He's dead now. You can't bring him back, you know. 
see him. Also, because he killed my brother. Well, now, isn't that fair? Because of Fong C. Yu, they had to die. I hope he's worth it. Now, Mrs. Fong, you're his mother. So where? Hey, Dragon! Look! See what happens now, if he gets up. <laughs> Those Shaolin herbs, they must be pretty good. You bet they are. Huh. Huh? My ma, 
Where am I? My ma. I... I know. She gave me those herbs. Said I'd be all right as long as I pretended dead. Sao Yi. Sang Ching. Where are they all? Your mother managed to trick them. To get you away. But unfortunately, she was caught. She asked me to help you. To trick the commander and Dragon Lee, we arranged a fake burial. But they got caught, though. Huh? Caught? That's right. They'll use him as bait. Ma's a real cruel bastard. But he's clever. That's why he won't kill them. But he may torture them, though. Torture them? How can you be so calm? Haven't you forgotten? It's my ma! And the girls, too. They're innocent. Ho Chow. Mr. Chu. I must go. Haven't you forgotten that they wanted you to live? Stay alive. You owe it them. I must save them. They did it for me. That's right. So don't let them down now. Right? Now listen, they rely on you, my friend. My friend, you're a hero to them. That's why they've risked their lives. And you must save them. But last time, you were beaten. Not good enough. And if you try again now, well, then you'll lose again. Then they'll all die. And so will you. Listen. Please help me. Fancy you. I'm going to teach you. see you. The shall impose me one thing. That's good balance. So then, the more sweat that you lose here, the less blood you lose there. Arrow. Leg kick. Leg drop. Horse leg. Trust. Aren't you? 
You tell us where Fong Siu is hiding, or I'll roast your head. So you better start talking. I warn you, you haven't much time. Laura! Ah! You bastard, you! Even I don't know where he is now. So how could he know? Leave him alone! Then tell us who took him away. My lord! Release him. Fong Siu is loyal. And so are his people. And if we do this, the people will find out. Sir! Take him to the library now. And I will question him there. Sir! Hold uh, you. Uh, bastard. Uh, uh. Thank oh, Jim. I've had just enough of you. You want Fong Si Yu? Well then, I'll take Fong Si Yu's girl for myself. Then you'll make it. Just keep at it. Concentrate. Never give up. Well, darling, so you're still here, huh? Would you like to join us? <laughs> Your makeup needs fixing.
see. You're jealous. <laughs> you swine! You swine! Hmm? Don't you worry about her. Just you rest in peace. I know that you're very anxious for your reward. In three days, if he doesn't show up, you take the girl, put her on top of the poles, and you can rape her. Five days, if he's still not here, you kill his mother. No official announcements. But still, we'll just let the word get around. <clears throat> and if anybody wants to watch, they're welcome to come along. Chang's dead. And old Chang. Lee tried to rape Sao Yi, and Lee killed them. Sao Chang's dead. I killed some. Li Pao and three men. I simply had to do something. And they say that in two days, if you don't show up, then Sao Li will go to the Shaolin Poles and be right there. And then, they say they're going to kill your mother. Got that, man. I'll get them. Love it to save you. See you. You've come here to save her, huh?
Sneak around there. Come out. I know why you've come here. To save your mother. Where is she? You're gonna pay for this. Remember your position. You're an official here. So you rescued him, huh? Then no wonder we weren't able to find him. My lord, I came to ask a favor. Go on. Hmm. Have you forgotten we were once blood brothers? Well then, you forgive Fang Si Yu. But he killed too many of my officers, though. And these include both the Lee brothers. So as an officer of the law, I am bound to arrest him. Hmm. He was simply righting the wrongs of the people. What's more, I forgot to mention he's my pupil now. He's learned a lot. He's much younger than you. It's a good chance for you to demonstrate your skill. We'll soon see who's best, but fight fair. Or else I'll lose my respect for you. My spear.
Come on. Let's start. You're pretty good. Thank <laughs> you. 